We'll begin by covering these two little tiles. We want to have the plain side showing in your booklet. So we're going to cover the back sides and keep the plain sides up. So I'm going to use a glue stick. Let's go through some of the other materials that you're going to need as well to have on hand. You want either a glue stick or glue of some kind. Elmer's glue is fine. I, I use um, Lime Co for one of the steps and I'll show you when we get that far. Also, I have sprayed all of my tiles with this Krylon UV archival matte spray. It's a matte varnish. Uh, it sounds pretty harsh, but it's not. If you spray two very light coats far away, you will set your ink and your graphite so that they don't smear as you keep opening your book. You will need some clamps to crease and clamp down our, our bound booklets. We will need a pair of scissors, obviously. And then if you have a bone folder, that would be nice to have, and I'll show you why. Also, I am using um, this light colored masking tape. You want something as close as to the paper color as you can get, which is this regular masking tape. I like this size, it's one and a half inches wide and it's working really well for me. But any masking tape will work. Um, I discourage you from using artist tape because that doesn't stick well enough. And also the painter's masking tape is not good to use because you really want to have a nice bond with the tape. That I think is all of the materials started. I am going to put glue with the glue stick on the back sides of the Bijou tiles. And I'm going to lay them as close to the edge as I can so there will be less to trim off. You can use either a scissors or um, a exacto knife to do the trimming. So I have them glued down and I'm going to go ahead and just cut the excess paper off the side, making sure to kind of sculpt those little rounded corners. I especially love these little bijou tiles for their rounded corners. It's so much nicer in the book than having a sharp edge. So when you're done, it's going to look like that. Well, my, my book, I made my book as a prototype, so I can't show you how to put it together. But my daughter, who's also a business partner in Botangle.net and an avid tangler, did provide for me a set of her little tiles that she drew. Taking her 16 tiles with an additional two on the front and two blanks on the bottom, and then our cover tiles each side. I'm gonna show you how to line up your, your little tile train is what I call it, and you'll see why, before we start binding it with the tape. We are going to bind with little pieces of tape that I'm, I'm gonna pre-cut. We'll need about 22 of them, about this size. I guess it's about an inch wide or a little, a little bit wider. And I'm going to cut 22 of them, and I like to just cut them and have them ready to pull up from the table as I go and connect my tiles together. Okay, so now I've got the tape all cut, and we're going to lay out our tiles in the order that we need them. This is a really important thing to remember and to note. We're going to lay our tiles out from right to left, not from left to right. First, we'll start with the cover page, right? And then we're gonna add two blank tiles, blank side up, not bijou side up, but blank side up. And then we're gonna start laying out all of the tangles that we did, starting with the first one, which was cruffle. Then we have, um, Sprinkle, and we have the tweed, and then we have Stella. So you're going to want to lay this all the way across your table. I can't do it here; you, you won't see it under the camera. So I'm going to I'm going to pause now, but I want you to lay out all of your tiles in the order um, from Cruffle to Diva 
rock and roll, which is this one at the very last. And then when you're done with that, you're going to turn them over like this, keeping them in the same orientation, in the same order. And lining them up so that we can tape them together, and that's going to create our little book in an accordion style. Okay, so we've laid out our tiles, and now we're going to take our little pieces of tape that we have ready and start connecting them. What's very important about this step is to really push down and get that tape on there. If you have a bone folder, it would be nice to use it for that. You want to also make sure that you line up these tiles so that they are very, very close together, as close as you can make them, and that the edges are lining up um, regularly. And so you're going to just keep on binding these little tiles together. I'm going to call it a little frame because that's what it actually becomes. I'm going to I can move this now. I can, can continue on. Really important to get this tape solidly on there or else when you start folding your accordion, the, um, they can separate. This happened to me, so I'm speaking from experience. Then we have a blank tile, but we're going to have the blank side up, so we turn it upside down, just like the others. I'm going to have two of these blank You can have a space to write down the names of the tangles and also the, to sign um, your book at the back. Um, in the book binding world, we call, we, we usually include something called a colophon, and that is where you can write down um, the materials you used making your book. You can write down the page. You can write down what it was for. And then finally, here's our inside cover, which I'm going to turn upside down. And so here is the train I'm talking about. We've got all of our tiles found with the tape. So if you turn it over, it's like this, right? So what we're going to do next is going to, we're going to fold this into an accordion fold. And this is also another thing to note. I know this is on the top, but we're going to start our accordion fold by making it um, fold over like this. Then we're just going to start folding them all back and forth onto each other. Like so. Okay, so we're almost there. So this is our inside cover, so don't be alarmed that it's going to be like this. On either side, there's going to be a blank showing and the inside cover, which will be sticking into our journal um, cover, our leather journal cover, will be stuck in like this. So this is this is our little booklet. Um, if you if your accordion fold is correct, when you open it up, you're going to have a blank page and a blank page, and you're going to start with your pruffle, and then you will have sprinkle and the tweed and so on. So this is the correct order. Then you're going to want to take your bone folder or just use your table and tap your, your little tiles so that all of the edges are as nicely fitted as possible together like this. Okay. Then you can just take a piece of um, masking tape and bind these with the masking tape. 
But I found that the best way to do this is, first of all, clamping, clamping your book with these wonderful clamps. This one I got out of the garage. This one is one that you can buy in like Office Depot. It's, a, it's an office clamp. And the reason we want to clamp this is it's going to put the pressure on the, cre um, on the tape and it's going to really crease it so that it will stay in place. And um, so you want to let that rest for a while. And if you don't have clamps, you could just use heavy books to weight this so that the creases get set. I'm going to go ahead, just for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and do the next step, which is instead of just going straight for binding this with a little bit of tape, I want my booklet to be really solid. And I am using Line Co archival glue um, that I'm going to just apply with one of these little sponge brushes. It's disposable. And I'm going to just kind of work the glue in a little bit to the spine. You want to make sure that you're gluing this on the spine and not on the front of the book. I did it backwards my first time and then I couldn't open up my book anymore. So that's something you want to watch out for. So there we have it. And then I'm going to go ahead and reclamp while it dries. And I love this archival glue. It will dry clear, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to cover it over with some tape. So I'm going to let this rest um, against something and show you how you then, once your little booklet has dried, you can see I've done mine already. I don't know if you can see that, but you can't even see it because it dries clear. So my booklet is pretty, pretty solidly bound already, but I'm going to go ahead and really make it secure by taking a piece of tape. In fact, I might do two. I'm going to go closer to the edge up here. And it doesn't really matter if the tape hangs far over. I actually put, um, I put the decorative paper on both sides of my, on both sides of my tile, but you don't really need to. Now I'm going to take another piece. So I'm really make it nice and stable. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and make sure that that spine is really weird too. I'm sure there's other tapes that you can use um, for this, but I think this will work just fine. Yeah. So here's my booklet. There's my cruffle. And if I open it, here is what I've done all the way through. So there's a little resistance from the glue, which is okay. And then I'm going to take my cover. I'm going to use the light cover. And I'm just going to slip that in. that sleeve, I'm pushing it all the way to the back, carefully of course, and then I go to the back, the same thing, and there is my little book. Of course it's going to be pretty stiff and the next step that you're going to want to do is, what I like to do is take my journal and I, I run it along the edge of my table, or even just like this. And it's sort of, you can't see this because it's off camera, but I sort of just ran it along the edge like that so that I can make a bit of a crease um, on the spine. And then you can either just bind it and let it sit that way, or you can weight it um, with books or a book press if you have one. And I like to, when I, when I weight my things, I like to make sure to put a piece of paper towel on top of it on both sides to make sure that um, I don't damage the leather. 
Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you have had a fun project and you have had some more comfort doing your book. <laughs>